all right guys so finally we are into our final video in which we are going to add couple of optimizations to our application as well as we have to build this node.js project and put it into the backend as well as we are going to deploy this project on the heroku so to get started with that i'm i just opened this project on my uh, in my visual studio code which is over here so to do that uh, I will just simply go to firstly for the error notification and components directory I'm gonna create a new file that is called errors.js uh, not JS that will be view and in my auth component I'm gonna add one more state property to the auth store and that will be error and by default that will be set to null and once that is done so I'll come back to this uh, async login function in map of actions of this store and I just wanna cut this whole thing out and I'll put that thing in try and catch block so that in case of any error we can execute do something else so i'm gonna paste it over here and else i'm gonna commit auth error and which will take this error object return uh, we are not returning anything over here so that's all then same with the uh, register I'm gonna cut this thing out and I'm gonna put it in a try catch block catch error and commit register error and I'm gonna throw that data object in there and rest everything will be the same so uh, get profile is fine and and map getters i want to add one more getters that is error and that will take the state property in it and we are returning state dot error so this is one of the other getter which we defined in our auth store and now next thing will be We'll go to uh, we'll go and add these mutations which we just added over here like register error and auth error. So for that, after register success, register error and just taking the state as well as we are passing the error in it. Let me see the spelling because I made several time mistake and everything is fine. Then next one is uh, to add the auth error. Auth error, which will take the state and the error object in it. And that's all. So what I'm gonna do that set that state, whatever the error which we are getting back from the server. As if you remember, if we if we go to my users file, we have this error of status 404, incorrect password or something. These things, if anything goes wrong, it will automatically execute the try, uh, cast the cache block and throw the error out. So in that block of code, we are passing that error object in this mutation. And in this mutation, we can simply say state dot error equal to error dot response dot data dot message since we are sending messages over from there and same in the same way we'll copy this code and put it over here and in other states I'm simply gonna put the error equal to null again because if anything goes wrong so all time state sta error of the state will become null auth request null 
success that will be null again and log out it will set back to default and that's fine for myself so once that is done now i'm gonna go to main app component and i have created this errors.view so here i'm gonna write a scaffold and with a div of a class alert alert danger and here i'm gonna add some message and i'm gonna get this error message from this the component in which i will mount this component so to receive some properties from there we will use props and that will be error or not error it will be message so i'm putting this message prop over here i'm gonna add a little bit styling so scoped because since we are using this style only here nowhere else so i'll simply use scoped keyword over a style tag then alert border radius zero pixels alert danger border radius not border radius background and I'll set it to red font color will be hash FFF that is white so that's all basically now so now I'm gonna go to this app dot view file and I'm gonna bring that component over here so import and we are importing error from components errors and I'm gonna register that component errors and before doing that we need to access this error property uh, error getter from the authentication store so what I'm gonna do for that is bring in the map getters so um, that's import app getters from vux and then computed we'll put that thing over here excuse me yeah map getters and we are getting that error from the store which is over here in map getters so we are just getting that state from here so in order to get that now we will mount the our error component over here that is error and we have mounted that component over here but we are gonna attach a conditional to it so if error since we are getting that computed property from here which is in map getters so I'm gonna get that thing over here as well as we also want the error data so we we can bind msg we are passing that prop here error and now if i save and before doing anything of this i want to quickly run my server back so i will split npm run dev and since we are using concurrently it will spin up our backend as well as frontend at the same time and it started compiling a code and now if I go to this local host port 8080 login we have it everything over here and now if I log in we get this our error component mounted over here so that's all basically about this application and if we are now successful we log in into the account successfully we can see this so I'm quickly gonna go to post map get to know about my password and now if I log in 
until I'm getting password incorrect object. And that is just because I am not able to remember my password. So login body any many one okay fine. And now if I log in, I am successfully in my application. And currently I'm getting this error. So for this error, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, fix something. So if I go to my profile component, which is over here. So I'm directly calling this get profile. So to tackle that error, we are just simply put, gonna put way if conditional and if user is there then this will be fine and now if I log out and type any mandy one again I'm logging in it's the same thing and no errors now so that's basically it which we are going to which we built and a couple of stuff which I added and if I go to home and that's just because jQuery is not loading properly so this is an application which we are going to deploy but before deployment uh, once it is done everything is tested properly now I am gonna go to this client folder so cd client ls currently I'm in my client directory and here we have our users so we don't have to worry about anything and um, before doing anything else we need to do a couple of fixes so firstly we need to go to this app.js file and just below this api slash users we need to add a couple of line of codes so firstly and i'll explain what this code the, what this piece of code is gonna work request response s.send file path join return name and, and public directory and start HTML so this piece of code is simply saying whatever if we get any other requests other than this API slash users we want to send this index.html file which is in our local public directory currently it, we are not having any sort of index.html file in there so firstly we need to build entire this client project into a single html file that's why view.js comes into rule and it is called spa so we'll be building this and put everything all the build stuff into this public directory and everything should work fine and before building that in my client I want to go and do something that is warehouse and instead of this localhost 5000 it will be only API slash users or so once that is done and save it then I'm gonna run npm run build and this piece of code will compile each and everything into a single page application which will be in a build folder over here so currently it will, it will take a little bit of time let me quickly expand the terminal and it's building a product for a project for a production and everything is fine and now build.file is done so if I go to distribution we have this index.html with a single page so now if I just go to this uh, directory command shift h web tutorials uh, maven stack and my client we have this test folder which just got created just for that thing so now if I copy this from here and paste it and I'm gonna delete this public directory and instead I'm gonna rename this public and now if I just go to this local host 5000 
and here I have my project. So this was running on port 8080 and this is running on port 5000. If I go to the login, uh, just login, username not found. Need an account, everything will, should just work fine. And if I try to go profile, and it kicks us back out to the login page. Now if I log in and the and the one one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and here we have our dashboard. So if I log out back, everything is working fine. So our entire authentication application is now complete and now we need to go and deploy this thing. But before doing any sort of stuff, just create a repository, GitHub repository. So to go to the code and I'm gonna go back to the client get at all okay so what I'm gonna do firstly I need to create initialize the get repository so for that we need to write get init and it initializes the github repository now we want we don't want to include this node modules folder and before doing anything else, I want to do one more thing. Come on, shift H. Okay. So in my web tutorials directory, Maven stack, and I'm going to go to client. Come on, shift and just gonna get rid of this git file. Yeah. And don't delete this thing. We don't. We need not to worry about this one. So now, if I clear this out, again, right, get in it. It really slides out the repository. We want to exclude this node modules folder. So for that, we will say touch dot get ignore file, and it will create a get ignore file. And here, I'm gonna write node modules slash now after doing this because since we are not going to include a node modules that's why we wrote it in the git dot git ignore file let me quickly okay so now git add on and to check the status I'll simply write git the status and these many files will be created and see whatever we had in a client in a node modules is also not uploaded just because this git ignore file is currently present in the uh, client directory uh, which exclude all these files and this git ignore is for the root directory which ignores this node module folders so now to create a repository I'll simply go to git hub.com and currently my internet is not active so I'll be just a minute so once my github repository is here you can click over here in your repository maven path app with view x simple authentication application with view.js and I'm gonna put this public repository so that you can go and check this codes over here and this is creating a repository and before doing anything I just want to commit this change final deploy and ready project clear get remote add and here I'm gonna copy this link which is over here paste it and now get push origin master so this will take a moment and I think everything is done yeah so now if I reload once that is done we'll find our whole project over here 
So routes API each and every find and node module folders is excluded. So now to for the deployment, I'm firstly gonna go to M Lab. M Lab and you need to create an account free account is very fine you can create it currently i have already created you can sign up from here and if i log in i just have this over here so i'll create one database that is maven auth application and create a new environment so the database is there oh my god what I did I create this environment I don't want to create any environment I wanted to create a new database so you can click it over here yeah so you can choose any whatever you feel like I'm gonna use free sandbox why not great for the Virginia or Ireland whatever is good for you whatever you feel like database name will be Maven authentication and continue now that's fine total price is free submit order should take a little while to create this database so just be patient with that and here we have our database created so it is taking a little bit of time thanks for your question you work on your database and that database is now ready so if i go to this webin auth database that will give me a mongo uri so you need to copy this and go to this config keys and I'm gonna cut this, uh, not cut this out. If process dot env dot not env. So what I'm gonna write is process dot env dot note env equal to equal to production. Then we will export something else and else we'll export this thing so if I cut this out and paste it over here and apart from that I'm gonna paste that URI which we got over here and you have to generate your password And whatever the DB user is here and as well as password will be called here so firstly I'm gonna go to this users I'm gonna create a database users so don't try this at your home for my using my name because as soon as this project is deployed database user so that the user is created and now if I save everything should work and we need to commit it again so get add all get commit dash m Production database added it push origin master and this will update our file and our GitHub repository. So everything is done. Now I want to go to this uh, collections. Currently, we don't have anything and just wait for here. So now I want to go to heroku.com 
and you need to create your own account which I already have over here which will ask me for my login so currently I have these many projects so I'm gonna create a new project and that project will be app name will be Maven auth create app okay app and now if I create this app will be created so what I'm gonna do is firstly I'm gonna you need to download this Heroku CLI tool before doing anything and once that is done we need to do a couple of stuff so firstly we'll say Heroku login and since I've already installed Heroku tool and once here you are logged in this won't take anything I think I forgot my password and once your login is there it will automatically log in for you so currently it's on the second screen and yeah so logged in is Heroku so now I will simply copy this line of code and put it over here then we want to commit our code again git add all git commit dash m and we'll copy this line of piece of code and we'll paste it again and to make sure you have this start script node app.js otherwise you might your Heroku tool installation won't be able to find so deployment deployment ready application now get push Heroku master and once this thing is uploaded our app we will be able to start our application and it is doing all the stuff like installing the node modules and other stuff and if there's any kind of error it will automatically fall back will succeed in now compressing launching and your application is ready to live on this terminal so now if I copy this line of code and paste it over here and if I reload here we have our application and now if I go to this login I click Nandi Mandy one and we won't find our username over here so why is that since the database is also changed so we need to create a new user currently our database is empty over here currently we don't have any collection so I'm gonna create Nandi Mandy one or in Maria Mandy Mandy one two three and now if I register we have now successfully created our user database so if I go to this collection and if I reload this page you'll find this col users collection over here and we have our user collection now now if I click to this users collection we'll find that entry in her database this so now, Mandy Mandy one. Uh, if I log in, use correct password since the password was something else. And here we have we are on the profile page. So now we have successfully uh, successfully hosted our application on Heroku, and you can add your own custom domain names over here by going to the settings and all of the stuff and if you want to restrict the user to use this site you can click this maintenance mode in the settings tab and you can do all the stuff with this Heroku as well as Amlab so hope you like the show and if you if you wanna 
uh, learn more you can subscribe to my channel and we are open to take any kind of patrons one dollar one dollar a month or 50 rupees a month in india that's fine to get going with our channel so thank you guys and in the description i will add my uh, phone pay upi address as well as my paypal account so if you want to support us we you can directly do that thank you guys